Today we will be creating an advanced filter menu using bookmarking in Power BI. We will start by creating a background in Figma. First of all, create a frame with the required dimensions. Place an icon and a title of filter menu. Add five lines to separate each row in the title. The background is ready now, exported in PNG format. Now to create a filter menu in Power BI, add a new page, import the background image, and adjust the size accordingly. Set the padding to zero and scaling to fit. Now place the slicers you want. For example, here we add the year slicer, turn the background off and adjust the slicer header. Fit the slicer in your column and create a copy and change the field to month. Adjust the size of the value text accordingly. Again, copy the slicer and change the field to company, country, and a full size field for customer and global dimensions one and two. And adjust the slicer header size. The slicers are properly placed. Now we want to add apply filters and reset filter buttons. Go to buttons, click on apply all slicers and change the text to apply filters. Stylize all the states of the button similarly. Create one more button for clear all slicers. Change the text to reset and stylize it accordingly. Align the buttons on the filter menu. Your filters are ready to work. Group them and take them to your main dashboard page. Place it where you want and you need a background that highlights the filter menu. So draw a rectangular shape and place it over your dashboard accordingly with reduced transparency and rename the layer as Background High. Change the name of the Filter Menu group to Filter Menu and place it above Background Hide shape. So, we need the Filter Menu to appear when you click on the Filter icon. But we also need a button to close the Filter Menu. Now create a blank button for Close Filter Menu on top of Filter Menu. You can also place a Close icon as well. All done. Now we need to create bookmarking. Go to Bookmarks, hide both Filter Menu Group and background hide layers and add a bookmark named Close Filter Menu. Since we don't want to capture the data, so uncheck the Data option and keep the Display and Current State options checked. Now select the desired layers and click on Selected Visuals to only affect the Filter Menu group and background hide layers. Similarly, we unhide these two layers and by selecting them, we create another bookmark named Open Filter Menu and set the same properties as the Close Filter Menu bookmarking. Now we have captured both the states of the filter menu in the bookmarks. Assign the action to the buttons, select Close button, set action type to bookmark, and set bookmark Close Filter Menu. You can also give the tooltip to describe the button. Similarly, assign the action to the filter icon, set action type to bookmark, and set bookmark Open Filter Menu. Both the buttons are working accordingly. Your filter menu is operational now. Thanks for watching.